Hmm. Looks like you're on a ship. Looks like what? <laughs> Looks like you're on a ship. How so? Not level. Now you're really on a ship. You're sinking. Yeah. Sorry, guys, if I'm making you dizzy out there in live land. Trying to get the. Eh, that's a little better. Disease and germs. This smells fabulous. I don't know how well it's taking gold off, but I guess it is. All right. <clears throat> we are live. How's that for exciting? Sorry, I'm still chewing. I'm going to scarf down my lunch. <clears throat> so I'm not eating in front of you again. And here I am eating in front of you again. What's up? It's true. All right. So I need... All right, so we rearranged the bindery uh, to kind of accommodate the production assembly line type of, I don't like it because what I need is over there. I got to walk all around the damn table to go get it. So this will be like this while we're doing the production run. But in between production runs and once, uh, once we start doing some of the more fun projects, and oh boy, do we have some fun projects coming up. Uh, yeah. I'm not fully on today yet. Give him time, folks. Give him time. I've discovered that I've been using. Oh, what? Do I want to know? What did I do? I don't know. What did you do? I didn't put a moisture barrier in. Oh, poop. Okay, folks. <laughs> yeah, when you glue out your end papers, You'll want to put a moisture barrier in before you put it in the press. Can you fix those? Was it that the only one that didn't have a moisture barrier? It's the only one. Okay, well, at least there's that. Uh, can we iron it? <laughs> you try. I mean, it didn't stick down all the way in the... Uh... Well, you're not supposed to open it. It's not dry. Oh, well. Oh. I didn't do anything. Congratulations, you just found your company. No, so usually you, you press it, you let the end papers get glued, right. and then they get set up to dry. Yeah. You're not supposed to actually open it at that point. Right. Yeah, it's definitely had some issues. There. to kill some brain cells today, folks. So what you can't see, well, maybe you can over here. I've got two stacks of the Animal Farm books. There's 40, what did I say, 42? Yes. 42 that are done. And they're just sitting over there. These three are going to dry. This fourth one, 
don't know what to do. Uh, could, so not only that, I didn't glue this side down. Yeah, no, you. What, did I get distracted somewhere in the middle of this? I would um, have to guess to say yes, you did. All right, well, went by. I'm gonna let it dry and then I will figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah. I don't know what to do with that. I do not know that, well, I, it's not getting down in the crevices of the book cloth. Uh, it's taking everything off the top, but if it's down in the prep, in the you know, in the grain of the cloth, it's really just not. I don't know if that's the correct term. It's probably not. I might have to just use straight water. But I don't want to like burnish this until I get rid of all the excess. Stops. Why does that look really off? Did it get cut? Is it one of those weird sheets that got cut funny? That were printed funny? The lighter fluid is working, but um, it's not between lighter fluid and water. I'm getting at them. Excellent. Except for the water is breaking down whatever dye. That would be aladine. So don't lick. Don't go too far. Don't, don't lick, lick the it. book. Don't lick the book. Yes, we have established that. Don't lick the book. But why would you lick the book? People say. Well, it's not that you're licking the book per se. It's that you're licking the paintbrush that you're using on the book on occasion. And no, that's not you, gross. That's just, you know, 
the best way to get a good point on your paintbrush is to lick that sucker. <laughs> Honestly. name of this publishing company is so minuscule. This has been a rewarding time just as much as it's been an annoying time. Just so you know. There's only one. Uh, Just needs the furniture.
we go. If you're wondering about the hues that I'm using, it's a uh, standard wheat starch or wheat wheat paste. The paper that the artwork is letter pressed on is Bugra, 135 GSM. Paper, it's uh, kind of toothy on one side, a little smooth on the other. Nice stuff. Really nice stuff. Literally having this like, the end of my Q-tip here to see which which end is which. So I use okay, the, nine uh, okay, nine of you. Okay, nine of you. Compared to rabid female dog on occasion, and I've gotten angry.
welcome back. We are live. I know. Because you know what BWR year? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to do that for me. Okay. Did you get back in? Huh? They're done. Yay! And there's like 42 done. Those are like on top of that 42. Oh, nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like there's actual progress. Progress. We're Yay. very happy about that. Progress is good. It is in the moment. That's it. I was going to make a comment about the Republican Party, but maybe not. <laughs> what is going on there? Oh. Wow. Um, what did you do? Nothing. I'm Sorry. just seeing things that aren't there. Okay. Yeah, watch. As long as, you know. I will be out of here shortly. Okay. I'm going to take my boards and go. <laughs> take my toys and go home. Take these boards and shove it. <laughs> and be here no more. <laughs> and you're really good with speaking us, you can change the hair and do it. Yep. I think you can actually tell me how long I was going to do these, other than forever. <laughs> so, till there aren't any more to do. So, they're done. <laughs> so, another 320 ish? 200. 200. I thought it was 360. It is, but we've got, but she's got uh, various stages of complete. Um, she has two boxes, so there's 200, and then whatever that stack is over there is what? What about 240, give or take? Does she get these two? Does she need those boards too? Um, she has boards on her side, maybe. I don't know. Uh, they're the ones with the dents. Well, there's large boards, there's small boards. You guys are going to have to <laughs> share. share. <coughs> Very nice. Um, I have two over there. Yeah. Oh, well, I was going to sit on it. <laughs> Where we want these? Uh, just put them there for now, I guess. 
I mean, if you need my blue boards out of the way, just put them up next to those Bibles. Okay. Magnifying glass, pinch in my hand. You need one of those ones on the stand. Uh, well, this is on a stand. Oh, the, the, the one on the stand, that, you know, the one on the stand, the actual, you know, stand that we have is small, and this gives me a bigger, like, field of vision. Than uh, I prefer this one for them. So, but if we do want one that's actually meant to stand and not hang, you can probably look at one in the near future. Okay. Oh, well, it's because she uses it the other way. Actually, it's meant to go around your neck. Yeah, yeah some I people don't like that kind of stuff. I just don't want it around my neck. I do not like things around my neck. See on my hands. <laughs> okay. Do not like raining to me. <laughs> I get headaches very easily from, you know, things pulling on my shoulders and neck. Uh, and we don't need me having one of my, you know, four day migraines. No. No, we, no, do, we not. do not. <laughs> so we are not putting it around my neck. Like I can wear a hat and uh, like a, a, a baseball cap and it'll give me a migraine. I just cannot stand it, even if it's leaves on my head. Yep, I'm the same way. Okay. I think we're ready for furnishing. Let that one dry and start off the wash. You want to take a gander at the other second? Okay. Thanks. You need more? Who? There's three of us here. It didn't matter. Nope. Or I am not the one. I didn't think I was. All right. Uh, I'm not going to take the cat hairs off the end of the paintbrushes until such time as I'm positive I don't need them anymore. So, why don't you tell me a story about that one? Who? What? Sharon. What? Tell me a story about that one. What one? The one in your hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> what, you got, what you got going on there? Um, looks like, I'm assuming me, um, is it has to be on the side. Squirrel. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I'll, I'll show you my one sided mistake today. Okay. <laughs> this, this was a little bit worse. In yeah. the long run. <laughs> um, I was going to say, this looks at least like, you know, you can. Yeah, you got to moisten it up. Well, I forgot to put in a moisture barrier. Oh! That's what happens. Ouch. Bad things happen to good books. And I didn't go out that side either. So, kind of the same thing you did. He also saw a squirrel. <laughs> Damn squirrels getting in the studio yet. Okay. Oh, I hate IOAs. I'm I mean, sorry. No, it's not your fault. I need this right here. Uh, we don't have a. Uh... You know what? Like a soft cloth to. We just have these little puckers. Huh? Um, I have white ones in there too. Oh, damn, that's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
other I'm going to need to keep this in the um, so. so I'm going to wax these in the end, correct? No. No. Okay. What do no. we do if you protect the gold? Just the burnishing and that's it? What oh, you have both of them. What? Um, the PVA and the PVA. That jar wasn't taken to the sink to soak, but this jar's over there. Okay. And the PVA is behind that stack of... There's paste in the fridge, PVA okay. in the... You have to make your, your stuff. Your 50-50, yeah. Um, this one does not have a lid. Um, do you want the round for the paste and PVA? Yeah. Square. Oh, no lid. Don't get any lid. <laughs> well, okay, this one's clean, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You took your glasses off. I did. Where are they? I need to put them back on. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to work here. All right. Use your over here. <laughs> what am I looking at? The books. I am ready for the, the burnishing part, I believe. I just want to make sure that you agree with me that I am ready for the burnishing part. I mean, what you don't want. Okay. I don't okay. I guess. Okay. Um, I need. Which one should be 50 50? Uh, both of them. 50 50. But square. Okay. Oh. They should not both be 50 50. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought you meant the part of the mixture. Oh, no. PVA, only PVA in the round, you said. Yep. Okay. Oh, right. That way we can easily identify Ooh, which is what. on that, but I don't like it. I'm going to move that. Um, okay, yes. He made you yep. so that you have to make the other hand. Well, yeah, this is just straight PVA. Okay. Oh, right. This is not the 50 50. This is 50 50 is going in the scrum. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I thought you yes. were going to miss it by 50. I was doing books. <laughs> All right. Volume one. You got me now. It works on this. There it goes. Me? <laughs> it's not tracking very well. Yeah. It gets doing stuck on people. Uh, it's stuck on me. No, oh, there it goes. It's following me now. Okay, so. Yeah, I locked it there. I was going to be doing this all week. So. That white spook was over there somewhere. Literally just rubbing all of the gold uh -oh. with the point of this thing. Huh? Is there a particular paste I should use? No. Okay. The paste paste. Oh, it's just there's two of them in here. They're yeah. the same thing. Okay. We made a huge batch. Got it. I can't use this, can I? Oh. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, that's bad. Yeah. There, fine. They switched this this way. Oh. Actually, that's the same kind of thing I did fix with the little finishing. No, this wasn't going to this company. You could put... Maybe. Open your damn eye features. <laughs> no, today's no sympathy day. Oh, that's why. Oh, no, okay. it's, it's oh, been a very. Wait, there were sympathy days? I wasn't aware. No, mm, sorry. <laughs> you missed those days. They don't last very long. Fair enough. So I just asked them, uh, I told them we're in the process of burnishing the touch up yeah. and. Uh, Ask him if he wants to put a protective wax coating over it. And if so, just the spine or the covers too. Okay. So we'll see what he comes back with. Um, Oh, 
Thing for that, you know what? What? A spatula. Spatula. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just. I do that with my fingers too. Even okay, I'm just watching. So a little bit. And. Like watching Looney Tunes. What? <laughs> do you people not cook? Well. I mean, I do this all the time with food. You're not even at your house. <laughs> <laughs> no, kidding. I do too. I wash my hands. <laughs> Only when she's cooking. It's just, you know. You've got to be thick on in here. Oh, I know. It's, yeah. Have you met my family? No, you have not met my family, so. No. <laughs> but I've met you. You've met my brother, I thought. I think I have met your brother, yeah. Long ago in the land, far, far away. <laughs> All right, he said, no, thank you. I'll be putting these in uh, durable archival covers, so that should protect everything without changing the texture. Perfect. Well, I'm just going to keep on doing oh, keep it on. Well, I told him we were in the process of burnishing, uh, I can specify that if you'd like. Oh, it's just probably do. Yeah, I'll have to... I don't have his address. Um, these were shipped to me from another bookbinder. Right. They don't have to get a shipping address anyway. Because, yeah, if we can finish these today, I'll get them boxed up and ready to be shipped out by Friday. Yep. That'll be nice. I hope, uh, okay. I hope the publisher's marks are also going to have done. Strings to his liking. What? That's the only part I'm like. How well do you? I've been, I've been worrying about that part. Like the rest of it, I think is is perfectly. Because uh, uh, the face and I had was just made last fine. Night. Yeah, but it doesn't. It didn't give me anymore. much problems. A couple of the letters mm -hmm. did that were really well, heavy. Well, even no stack of books, so it may have been made oh, a bit of art. With all the signs. <laughs> yeah. Right. So there was that. So, so familiar with that. I almost come in Monday at 3.30 in the morning. Jesus. Because Couldn't sleep? Oh, no, I was asleep. Until my sister made three trips downstairs, one at 12.30, one at 3.30, one at 5.30. Gotcha. With the damn dog. Uh, she hasn't learned to tell him no. And he's got a game going. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. He's got her, he's got her trained. Wants attention. Cat walks across my head in the middle of the night for attention. Hey, you need to be petting me right now. <laughs> Dude, it's 4 30 in the morning. Pet yourself. My cat is fully aware that I will sleep on it. <laughs> I literally move around the cat in my sleep. She right. likes to, to show her, one of her favorite positions is my armpit. <laughs> the other one is underneath my right butt cheek. She yeah. has a preference. <laughs> she is. I don't want to say she's cat, but that's fine. Uh, it doesn't sound comfortable. Is she, uh, if I move away from her, she will get up and reposition herself so that she is touching me again. She will dig at my bed sheet until I lift it up so that she can sleep right against me. 
suddenly I don't feel quite so bad that Raven doesn't know my, my bed so I feel fuzzy. <laughs> it's, well, uh, Murphy starts in the bed when it gets too hot. He goes under the bed, then he whines because he's alone. <laughs> I think he thinks Murphy should get under there with him. Probably. Pitsy chases him out when she can, when he intrudes on her. <laughs> she is. It's like four and a half pounds of beast. She just worked right into him. I've got to watch out for the little ones. Well, you know, she was docile and stuck in the cat. <laughs> and then she found out she was a mama. Always, the trouble always comes in. Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm swirling this thing around so much. This is my third day. Uh, my upper body is very demoted. Who's out of the way? Get some lumpies. Just a few. I think it's almost forks of habit sometimes. Yeah. Let's strain the face. Better stay the same for fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's you're not gonna go wrong by straining it. All right. And could possibly go very wrong by not straining. So. Yeah, having a big snot ball in there is not gonna. Now your little buddy's letting you sleep. Really? All right. Yeah. Well, my mom's home, so there's a book one. So she'll just go wake up. Great. Hi, copyright strike. <laughs> yes. Uh, it will go very much better as long as I can get it to be very much better. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, honestly, again, because you know we want them to look older, we don't necessarily want them to be super shiny right. you know like my those three bibles over there brand new yes so yeah i'm gonna be like trying to get her to go in my room and wake me up but it doesn't help that mom won't actually go in my room she'll just stand in the hallway and say, oh. Wake her up. Oh, yeah, the dog's like, What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, we've got Murphy Will. If you say go get mommy, he'll run upstairs and go to the room. I don't know what he does when he gets there. He leaves me alone. <laughs> well, you know, we've, we've only had her not even, well, I guess just about three months. So, you know, she's still learning her way. Oh, yeah, I think so. Well. So, she'll get used to your vocabulary. Yeah. And, and of course, the irony is that you know eventually we are gonna. That's kind of the goal of having her. Is you know other than I wanted a dog for forever. Uh, <laughs> is the fact that we're gonna train her to wake me up when I'm not waking up with my alarm. Well, so. you have to get an alarm that the pitch interdicts it. <laughs> well, actually, I think if I have an alarm set with a specific sound, um, she'll know that. That's how we're going to train them with okay. You have to get mommy out. So, when you hear this sound, go cool, stand on her head until she wakes up. Yes. Oh, well, Bitsy runs all over the up, around his upper body back and forth. She's a little bit. Uh, but she wants her to get up. Like I said, my cat just either. Takes her paw and literally pats my cheek, licks my eyelid. That that wakes me up nice. That would definitely wake me up. <laughs> a little sandpaper on my eyelid. Yeah. Or uh, she, you know, walks across my head. So. Yeah. Alas, I need something a bit more strenuous to wake me up. <laughs> 
Yeah, I only <laughs> the dog's kind of my last hope, given that the thing that gives me electric shocks doesn't actually. Oh, um, you, right <laughs> you have one of those watches. Yep, and it doesn't work. Well, not always. No, I mean it's better than an alarm clock, but it's still. But it's still. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Remember, you guys used to say, "Why don't you have an alarm clock?" And I'm like, "I have five. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. No, not when you have a sleeping machine." Yeah. If only I'd known then what I know now. Mm -hmm. Now you know. <laughs> Knowing is bad for now. Yeah. Now, if I could just find a sleep doctor in here that doesn't say, well, it's your sleep ID. Yeah. Um, can I please see a sleep doctor that's also a neurologist instead of like a respiratory doc? That would be fabulous. That's what I had in Portland. She's the one who figured out I had hypersomnia in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. So we probably don't have anything like that here, unfortunately. Yeah. Close. This will be Pittsburgh. All right. So he sent his address and he sent me his FedEx account number. So we'll just ship it on his account. Oh, Woo well, nice. I that's love my fabulous. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Right. Oh, shit. How long have I been? What did I say? We were at 11 or 12 hours. You were at 11 hours yesterday. Yeah. Monday. So, wow. Monday. Four hours. So, 15 hours total. It's about right. All right. So, I don't know how to calculate. Uh, I, I don't know how much was I going to do. Oh, yeah, I got to make 30 or 50. Well, if we if we did 30 or 35, we're definitely over what we charged them. I don't know what we charged them. So uh, I don't know what you quoted them. I believe it was 300 for the set. I don't know. Yeah. But if you do, here, I'll uh, then I'll do math in my head. Um, okay. I don't believe people who say they can do math in their head. <laughs> oh, I know people. Aiden, he can carry yeah. pie out to like 300 spaces. It's crazy. Yeah, well, he's a freaking. So if, if we build out at $35, um, that would be 500 a quarter. Okay. So. Uh, what was 300? Still over. Uh, or 30, I mean. So if we build it, Fifteen dollars an hour. It would be two and a quarter. Okay, well we're filling it more than that. So, so you're only spending so much. I wouldn't go lower than twenty. Well, but this would be twenty dollars an hour. That's not Fifteen bad. hours, three hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. I'll speak to that in church. Yes, please. The 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 lower one, the one with less in it, has been straight. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter because it's going to lump up again anyway because you put it in the fridge. Yep. So. But Should I not put it in the fridge? No, it needs to be in the fridge. Oh, it, it can be out. Uh -huh. It can be in the fridge. The fridge helps it stay longer. Yeah. So if it's not in use, and I've got a jar here, this jar, it'll last me today. Okay. Because so. um, I'm going to finish gluing out uh, the cover art on this small stack. Uh -huh. um, and then tonight, I will case these in, and that will probably burn the rest of this jar. But I figure since we're going to be burning so much page, I just made a large batch. Okay. And we end up with three jars. Okay. I just know I don't need it for either of the things I'm going to be doing today. Nope. So. Um, if you need more space, I realize there's a lot of stuff stacked out at that end now. <laughs> um, we can set this table back up. Um, so you let me know what you need. Um, I should be okay because um, presumably once I finish. The stack, I go under one of those, yeah. So, all right, I know there's a lot going on here, yeah. <laughs> so. But right now, I gotta go wash some stuff and grab a small bowl. All right, um, what is that? We got both of the bowls there. Oh. Can I steal this one or any? You have it, okay. you might want to wash it out, it's got some. Taste in it. Got it. But other than that, all you knock yourself out. I won't need that until I start casing in tonight. Okay. I feel like there was probably uh, at least one line of gold tooling on the 
the bottom and top of this that are just laying down now, but I'm not sure. Well, if you're not sure, we're not going to. Then I'm not going to do it. No. Yeah. Okay. I told you we want this guy as a client. Yeah. Well, I hope that I hope that I've done well enough for him that um, we uh, do think, get him as a client. I think you've done the best that we can do. I think you did really good. That's a tiny logo. Oh, oh it's, it's ridiculous. And I, I just, like I said, I, I, I. Oops. It's the only part I'm worried about, just because it is so tiny and it just really looks like a, a block. You look at it under the microscope, or the, under the microscope, under the magnifying glass, and you can better differentiate all of the stuff. But yeah. It's just so tiny. And I'll, I'll make sure to put a notation in. I'm literally using a cat not as small as I could get. The only other thing that I would like to try someday when doing something like this is a, a dip pen of some sort just to see if the... Yeah, I think I have a glass dip pen here somewhere. Yeah. Um, I know I have one somewhere as well. But I, think it, I think it was Tate's. But I think it managed to get here. It was in with the art supplies. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking that maybe a glass dip would be fine enough on the end to do something. Like that. And I use probably, I would say, half, a, a third to a half of the shell gold. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Or it's it's spread out more than it started, so I would say maybe even just a quarter. Okay. And I don't remember what I paid for that. But Fifty something. Yeah. I mean, there's still plenty left. Well, next time we bid this, so we need to keep that in mind that um, you know you're going to go through. A certain, yeah. So honestly, for for like doing a set of books like this, we should charge them for half that. Right. Uh, the value of that. Yeah, I think it's around 50 something. Yeah, it but sounds yeah. about right. 53 seems to be a number that's yes. coming to mind. Yeah. Um, yeah, we should definitely, the shell gold should be part of the quote next time. Yeah. Should be something that's added on to our, our, uh, Pricing list. So essentially, twenty dollars a book. Yeah. To cover the. Because you want. Supplies. Yeah. Because you want to cover what you've used, but you also want to make enough that you can buy more. Uh, Not just keep status quo. Right. Because you imagine if that was like. An entire set of books, like ten or twelve. Yeah. Uh, like a, at least a couple of things are so Well, yeah, and well, I bought the tiny one too. Well, I know how to make it now too. So, oh. um, as long as we have gold leaf and get some uh, gum arabic, I can literally make it now. And. Uh, it takes like an hour to make that amount. It, it's it's a long it's it's a process. And then when you use paste, you can leave that paper a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a whole idea of paste. And it gives you a little bit of time, a little bit of slip. It also gives you great penetration. Yeah, we can use the day, the day, but I just saw you adjusting it. There we go. I you can look at these. 
but I believe that I am done with that. You can have final say. They look nice. Yeah, I used a cotton ball instead of a straw. It seems to have done the job nicely. So. All right, so what did you have best luck with, the naphtha or straight water? Straight water. Okay. Uh, what did the naphtha do? Not much, to be completely honest. Moved the dye around on the uh, spine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, it took off um, from the dye. It, it did, um, but it also took off like the gold yes. that was at the top of the brain, but it didn't penetrate enough to get the gold that was like into the brain and the cloth, if that makes sense, down in the little divots of the cloth. It does. It did not take that out. Oh, why does that look uh... Uh, What do you guys think? She did a really good job. When these came in, they were almost illegible. And uh, instead of retooling it, we touched it up with shell gold. And uh, the goal was to keep it looking old. We wanted to freshen it up, but not make it look brand new. I think you did a really good job. Thank you. Okay, what am I doing now? Help me. I just want so, to put it away. The sunscrews. Okay, I just didn't unscrew it yeah. enough. Okay. And, and then push it into the front. Right. Yeah, that was, that's, I rubbed one of the spines with this and that's okay. all it did. The, the cotton ball, I mean, looks about the same, but the cotton ball works as fine to burnish it or to shine it up, I mean. All right. So when you get your area cleaned up. Yeah. Do you want to try and take the nap to this? Yes, I will do that. Let me, um, is that his book box? Yes. That is his box right there. It is. So I'm going to move these so that I can put these in his box. These two boards don't One of those is upside down. It's got to be. Uh, as much as I want to glue that piece of cloth down that the other person wants, I'm comfortable with it. Well, you were hired. To you do were hired to do the fetch up the gold. Yeah. The other guy, that was his deal. Yep. Whatever structural issues are not. Not our issues. My issues. Okay. You are in there. All right. I should not need this for that. Okay. Right? Well, uh, it's soft enough that I don't want to like have it resting on its corners. So I think I will just. Oh, I didn't do a TikTok of me burnishing that. Sorry. Yeah. There, there will be, be more. Other... There will be more. Okay. Let me know. Um, So you already took a uh, tape to this? 
or not? Um, what are you doing? I took the books from there. Just take the whole fucking room. box. No, I'm going to put those in the box out of her uh, the workspace. Oh, well, no, right. I'm going to work on those once I finish this. Yeah, but yeah. you don't. Oh, I'm you just going to fill them Yeah. The <laughs> box is empty now. If you need it. <laughs> Yeah, I really, really don't like these aisles. Yeah. And it, he doesn't like to get Well, and, yeah. And having to go all the way around things. Yeah. Uh, believe me, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Changes we can actually. Like no, sir, don't like it. <laughs> Getting you better than Walmart's protectors? Yes. Uh, yes, the nap foot is working nicely on the um, oh. old leaf. Okay, and yeah, so that's what I that's what we normally use it for. Um, I didn't know if it would work on the shell gold or not, so. So, water for shell gold, nap foot for gold leaf. Oh. Yeah, we can't leave any fuzzies. Well, yeah, no fuzzies, man. No fuzzies. Oh, I know. Fuzzy Books are not supposed to be hairy unless it's the Harry Potter monster book of monsters. Yes. And if I need to go in with the shell holes here, I can. Yeah. I'm trying to get just on the. Upper surfaces here. Just make them look pretty. That way, when I get done with this, I can wax them. Yeah. Yeah. Unless we have something you desire to wax them. Yeah. I mean, I, I may uh, have the time on my hands to do it. If I did this. But, uh, I know. I uh, the um, alternative would be uh, re starting Spencer's Hobbit. Which I'm sure oh, would right, be right. much more fun. I do yeah, have to get that. Thing. Yeah, we'll see where I'm at by the end of. Yeah, because vellum. Mess. Vellum is on its way for that project. I am. I am excited for that. So that's one that if we get it going. That's gonna be really difficult. Yeah, I can see better now where it didn't. I can't believe you're doing it on camera. Uh, I know. Freaking jumping trees by barking tree spiders over there. Yeah, I can see from, uh, where the gold leaf did not press into the uh, letters. So I will push this up. Yay! Oh, yeah, they have to be conformed to the work too, don't they? What? Right. Those when you're done. Mm -hmm. I may come up short on that one. Don't like that. <coughs> no, sir. Don't like that. <coughs> I have a funny idea that we've done that before today. Sounds eerily. Oh, yeah. Set me on fire today. No open flames next to me today. Next to either of us. <laughs> <coughs> I never let you in my mental state. Well, no, I just I happen to have Zippo fingers <coughs> in my hands. Ah. So I, you know, no open flames near me today. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, you know, a forge or, you know, a blow forge does not, does not confront me unless I am covered in 
the zip up for it. Now, me on the other hand, you do not want near your forge. This book binder's on fire. <laughs> I did set my pants on fire once. Was... Liar, liar. <laughs> it was bad. I was I had just finished soldering a really solid cast piece and uh, picked it up with my tongs to put it in the punch bucket. And um, it slid out of my tongs and landed on my tongs. Oh, ow. Yeah, set my pants on fire, burned my leg. I was trying to come up with new swear words because the old ones just weren't swear words. Weren't enough. <laughs> when you start, that's when you start swearing in other languages. <laughs> so, I have to keep the time. That's what I did. I have to establish that. What, that you're weird? Yeah. Yeah, well. We're all a bit weird here. I think that's why we're here. If we were normal, we would not be here. Probably uh, not. We'd probably be like your insurance executives making tons of money. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I would have better. finished pre med and become a doctor and be making, you know, money. But that, no, no, did not happen. I would be a psychologist. You know, my shrink often says, when are you going to go back to school for psychology? And I say, never. Thank you. I would be. If I went back to school, I'd be taking a cat burglar. <laughs> I, um, I have creeped people out before because, you know, in my. You know, on the job training, I in pathology, a legal job, like okay, yes, for anybody listening, I learned, you know, the things, learned skills that would help me dismantle a body in about an hour. <laughs> nice. And um, which is an interesting skill to have, but it also scares people when you tell them. Okay, Dama. I don't know why. You'd be more like Dexter. Dexter. Oh, that's what they called me, Dexter. Some lady was offended. <laughs> okay, Dexter, you can go away now. What? You wanted to know something interesting about me. That's like that's top, top, tier, top tier material right there. Come on. If you don't want to know, don't yeah, ask. Don't ask. So I got really bored with staff meetings and different types of meetings at the Boeing company. Mm -hmm. And one of their icebreakers was, tell us something about you that nobody knows. Okay. And so I would routinely tell them that I'm probably the only person you know who has robbed a moving train. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and, you know, of course, I get the, we get the, oh, that's funny. And I'm like, no, I'm no, serious. serious. Did you do it on purpose? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, How old were you? Uh, I don't know, mid twenties. Oh, okay. That's store. <laughs> so, do you remember when I had the space in Carpenter Electric? Did you know me there? I the, the big studio. I've never went to it, but I know you had it. So it was while we were there, and there was an economic sump, so we didn't have a lot of money from the construction company, and Ian and I came up on this train trestle right outside this window. <laughs> and they had a train stop there, oh. and it was loaded down with um, little generator motors, oh. about that big. How many and did you end up with? Ian and I jumped up on the train, and we were just wafting them off, and the train started going, and I don't know, we went probably about a quarter mile, just continuing to dump as many of them off the train as we could. Nice. I and, mean, not uh, nice. That's so terrible. We, the train was moving, <laughs> and we robbed it. Nice. There you go. And we took those generator motors. We stripped the copper out of them. Sold the copper. For Sold the copper. Money. Yep. 
Because the copper is worth more than the motors. Yep. But well, yeah, I think the motors were defunct. If they weren't that could they threw them out of the train, they'd probably be here. <laughs> right? And we paid rent. Which is important. Yes. Okay. Well, class civic duty. <laughs> And the other reason I shared this story is because it's so far past the statute of limitations and GE is gone. So, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing anybody can do about it now. And the proof is long gone, other than you submitted to it on national, whatever. National, it's global. On global Wi Fi. I'm reformed now. <laughs> The reformed train rover. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you grow up believing you're a descendant of Jesse James. Not for a living. More of a hobby. Stop trading to pay your rent. More of a hobby. I actually am descendant of an iron highway. Well, there's actually, and there's actually an article about him up in uh, uh, Molly Brandon. Oh, really? That wasn't intentional. They, they didn't know that. And I just happened to see it while I was in there. Like, oh my God, it was the crowd of mine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I always like to sit by that so I can point out to my friends, hey, look. It worked out well for my mom because she knew this really obnoxious girl in college who kept talking about how she was descendant of European royalty. Uh. <laughs> and finally she said it one too many times and my mom said, yeah, I'm descendant of Irish Highwaymen. <laughs> so. Which is another form of Irish ro royalty. <laughs> yeah, fair Depending right. on who you ask. Yeah, true. Well, depending on who the hell I'm for. We're clamming. Okay. I don't know that the crimes are uh, accepted with anybody. They're not associated with anybody? I don't think so. Not publicly. <laughs> Like, I know the Wilsons are a sub of Clan Gun, but that's the Scots. Yeah. Yeah, uh, mine are Fletchers, so uh, they worked for anybody who would pay them. <laughs> because arrows. Yes. Because arrows? Yeah, they were Fletchers. They made arrows. Yep. So, you know, they worked for anybody who would pay for their services. And my Irish ancestors, I don't know what they did in Ireland, but they came over here and joined the military and fought against my other ancestors. Uh, like in Custer's time, literally, I had in Custer's last stand, I had relatives on both sides of the fight. <laughs> that would make for some interesting family there. It did actually because their children got married. So, yeah, my, you know, grandfather, I think four times removed, uh, refused to go into the, like my Apache grandfather, four times removed, refused to go into the Irish grandfather's house. So the Irish grandfather would sit on the porch and the Apache grandfather would sit in the yard and they would basically shout at each other. Uh, yeah, their children got married. So the, it's the, yep. A truly American version of Romeo and Juliet. Kind of. <laughs> uh, only they didn't die. Uh, they, uh, you know, procreated and uh, now I'm just along with my brothers and sisters. 
So it's good to exist. It is good to exist. It's good to exist. It's better than the alternative. Yes, indeed. Is it? Well, I, only yes. I feel that way. Even though some days are a struggle, I still feel that way. So it's interesting. I mean, anyway. <laughs> we are on live camera. <laughs> Well, I mean, do you remember before you exist? I mean, me personally? Yeah. No. Okay. So, how do you know it was bad? I mean, I'm not saying it wasn't bad. It could have been better. It it may have been, but, I, you know, I firmly believe that, uh, you know, I probably needed to learn something, and that's why I'm here. So. Bookbinding? Yeah. Maybe that's it. Everyone needs to learn bookbinding. It's fun. Maybe I just needed to learn to do something that I actually enjoy doing something for myself instead of, you know. I thought that's what masturbation was for. Well. Never mind. Shut up. Don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not right. We don't have an HR department. <laughs> yeah, there's no, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's no uh, seminars on appropriate workplace. I had a question. Uh, yeah, okay. 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 We are not PC here. We are not. We're Mac. Yeah, we're going with Mac. Yeah. Um, PC or Mac. I'm yeah. all about Android, man. <laughs> we are definitely not. Uh, Oh, I suspect we're more worth We're just, you know, I, we're kind of rust belt rude about it. <laughs> I, I find woke to be a dirty word. Uh, woke, the people who are woke, I do not appreciate in life. So. so I shouldn't tell you that I consider myself to be woke? Um, it, you are not, but you are not one of those people that I am referring to. Uh, you're referring to the online social justice warriors. Yeah, the hardcore social justice warriors. Hey, are, I don't believe in that, so you shouldn't do it either. Yeah, <laughs> those people. Well, see, I'm into more the other end of the spectrum with the whole, I don't do that, so you shouldn't do it. So. I am I am a liberal, a conservative leading, leading liberal. I believe that uh, I may not like what you do, but that's your thing. And as long as you're not pushing it on somebody else, you do you, Bubby. You know what I mean? And I'm a firm believer that we should have a king again, and that king should be I. Yeah. <laughs> well, we all have our delusions. Yes, we do. <laughs> so, all right. I'm liberal leaning towards leftists, so. <laughs> the world's left? I said I'm liberal leaning towards leftists. So yeah, you are on I like leftovers too. The left side of the line and I am on the right side of the line. I am the line. But I'm sure we have quite a lot of well, I know we do. Yeah. Quite a lot of beliefs in common. So. Yeah. But yes. Fun thing about lines is they're not necessarily straight. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> What's that mean? Well, you know I'm straight, so it's spaghetti <laughs> until it gets wet. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying you're pool? Sure. <laughs> okay, back to bookbinding banter. <laughs> so far off the deep path. <laughs> <laughs> she can't watch at the desk. She watches later. Who oh, knows? Maybe she is watching. I don't know. All right. Um, but the real question is is Big Brother? Big Brother is always on. Big Brother can serve for the ransom tuna for my butthole. I mean, okay. That's a. Uh... Yeah. They want to listen. That's what they're going to hear.
Yule Boy says, gotta go, we'll watch later. That's my brother. Ah. Our one super fan. <laughs> yes. Well, that's the beauty of this is live is available later. Yeah. It's just not live at that point. It's Memorex. <laughs> Memorex. Yeah. Uh, all right. So earlier I mentioned some projects and uh, totally got squirreled away into something. Just started the day. So uh, one of the projects we have working, um, we have some clear vellum coming from Pergama. Did I say that right? Uh, and we are going to be doing a, a design binding for a 13th impression of The Hobbit. Uh, we're going to take the original artwork or print of the original artwork and we're going to be laminating it underneath this vellum and then binding the book in it in full vellum. Uh, it should be quite lovely. Um, we've got a couple other projects coming up, but that's really the big one. Uh, starting a little bit later this week, I'm going to get back to that 1850 Bible uh, that we had started working on and, you know, Things just kind of progress. So I'm sorry the videos aren't in a quick order, but uh, we'll get there in time. Uh, I've got a video coming up where we're going to the uh, tool of the week, which we're a week behind. Uh, I think we're going to do the bone folder next. And we've got, uh, I'm going to do a, a little talk on uh, book class and what you can. What you, what you want to find uh, kind of historically versus modern, and then if you wanted to make book cloth at home. So we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, yeah, all right, I'm gonna get back to work. Start flapping your jaws. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> there is. Must be the tiniest of burrs on this agate. I can't even feel it. The flaw in the polish, huh? Yeah. That's not cool. No, it's not. And I can tell only when it hits the gold leaf in a certain way because it scrapes the gold leaf off and I can feel it catch. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's frustrating. It is. Well, I planned on getting some new ones anyway. Mine is. Uh, that was it, it was an inexpensive set. It was kind of like the, the starter right. easy bake oven version. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll bump that up on things to get sooner than later. Now that we're starting to do more tooling. Come on. Yeah, and if this this trend continues. Definitely. In fact, I want to kind of mark this as, you know, which way should be facing you when you're burnishing. Like, because the way I have it right now is fine. I'm going to have to fix a couple of spots. It's catching the gold on the top again with the texture of the leather. It's catching more of the gold. If it's not completely flat underneath it, it's not getting down in the crevices. So the gold is not like 
doesn't look like one total sheet. It looks like little pebbles. Huh. Does that make sense? Yes. But this happens to be the right size for this big print. It fits right down in the imprint of the letters. Nice. So I am flattening out some. I'm so, so sorry. Did you just silent but deadly? If I'm afraid it's hard to die. <laughs> Uh, I kind of hate you a little bit. You will when it gets there. Yeah, I'm sure I will. And people wonder why I don't mind not having some Christmas. <laughs> this man, from day one, has been trying to murder me. <laughs> okay, if everybody doesn't know everybody, we're going to do this. Mm. This over here, this is this is Sharon. Hi, this is over here. <laughs> and, and right here, this is Marcia. Hi. And way back here. This back here, be my mom. This is Edis. And this down here, come down, 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 down. Slow me down. Come here. This is Loki. <laughs> And oh, I can't it did fall. Oh, I glued this. Yeah, you did. Take, I gotta take care of this. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrels. Uh, we really are squirrels. <laughs> yep. People really like to spatter our guts when they're on a Sunday trip because we're squirrels. Oh, I'm Edward. Yay. Or as you, or the honey badger binder, or hey you, or that the guy, or fart squirrel. <laughs> Squirrels. All Before anyone complains about the squirrel thing, some of us do here do have ADHD. So some of us, <laughs> at least three of us. Okay. <laughs> Pretty sure the dog does. Okay, that I'm makes starting to wonder work. about Raven too. Not that she could. My mother has something. I just don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I heard it from you. I'm straight. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that works that way. Oh, no, totally. Reverse inheritance? <laughs> oh, yeah. I drove her crazy. Because he never comes by us. That's going to be a copyright infringement. Yep. Oh, my God. We're going to be banned in four territories because I sang something. Oh, well, we might be, but not going to be. I'm absolutely not going to be able to I can Yay! I mentioned the ADHD thing, so we didn't get a bunch of people going, hey, that's not funny. So, so coming up also in the next week. <laughs> Sorry. You're okay. But coming up in the next week or so, we are going to, I know some of the videos in this production have just kind of been a little lackluster and boring because, well, it's not very exciting. Uh, we are going to have some videos on uh, the application of the vellum. It's a three-day process to get this to conform properly. Uh, so we're going to go over that in detail. Uh, so something to look forward to. You like that thing? Yeah, you like know, that kind of thing. Like You're into watching. You're here to be watched. All right. All six of you. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh no! Dude! Save the pieces. What the hell was that? It was the stuff that was sitting on top of my box. Um, she just totally screwed that case. Yeah, 
That's probably going to have a few dents in it. A dent? She tore it down the center. Oh. Oh, case. The case is now on the floor. Oh, that was a rejig, didn't it? Oh, is that the one that was already oh, torn so, down sure. the center? Oh, sure. So, rejects, you're just going to treat that way? Yes. <laughs> you're not very woke. Ah! That's going to be woke. Not very plus ultra of you. Just saying. You know, where was the, uh, the diversity, inclusion, equity stuff? For cases, you know, cases are books too. <laughs> well, they're parts of books anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not. I don't know. Uh, la 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 la. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure cases identify as books. La 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 la. <laughs> uh, I do not want to get into this conversation. <laughs> So I won't ask you. Not on, on camera anymore. I mean, you can ask me, but I will uh, respectfully remain silent. Enjoy the <laughs> silence. Keep my thoughts to myself, just like I do online. Here at Book Ford, we respect the rights of all books. <laughs> you tell him, monkey. He just grumbled. Yes. So I've discovered that I've been using the word guffaw wrong for years now. Oh, have you? Oh, how have you been using it? Well, I mean, I know how I use it. I... The, the definition of guffaw has to do with like a boisterous laughter. Yeah. Yeah. He gave well, a loud guffaw. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been using it as a loud ruckus. Oh, no, that's and, not right. Which, I mean, a loud laughter could be a ruckus. It could, but no. But yeah, yeah. yeah so, I, uh, yeah. So, uh, I learned something new. I, I corrected my eighth grade vocabulary word that apparently I was using wrong since, you know, the eighth grade. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm wondering what other words I've been using. Well, if I ever hear you use one, I'm just like that. I'm annoying like that. Me too. Like I don't think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> you keep saying that word. I think I'm gonna hear you use what you think it means. Exactly that. More copyright infringement. Yep. I don't know. As, as many times as that gets posted around the internet, I think we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, is Princess Bride like out of like how how old is that book? Is it... Well, there's also <coughs> a movie. So. Well, yeah. Um, well, the original book I want to say was written in the seventies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alexa, when was the Princess Bride written? The Princess Bride by William Goldman was published on September first, nineteen seventy three. Do you know that you just set off every person's Alexa that will watch this uh, <laughs> video? Sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. You have to be careful with that. Can you change the name of your Alexa to something else? I uh, don't sure. know. Alexa, can we change your name? Okay. You can choose from Amazon, Computer, Echo, or Ziggy. Which of these do you like? Alexa. <laughs> Stop. He was thinking. Well, no, because she, she gave me a choice mm -hmm. and I didn't want to ch actually change it. Yeah. Um, I didn't like any of those. I didn't either. I don't know. I think Ziggy's kind of great. Yeah. <laughs> Ziggy Stardust. Ziggy yes. Needs, Ziggy needs a male voice. Why? I don't know. Because I don't know any Ziggy girls. I know some Ziggy. Never mind. <laughs> I used to know. I don't know any men anymore. <laughs> Antonio, don't make him sleep on the couch. You don't have a couch. Oh, well, that's true. The don't make him sleep in the chair. <laughs> yeah, my rocking chair is not comfortable. 
Um, that makes me sad. What? A rocking chair should be comfortable. Well, I mean, not to sleep in. So it's a wooden. It's a it's a back porch wooden chair. Yeah, uh, rocking chair. It's yeah, not. Yeah. You know, you fall asleep on a midsummer night's day with you know uh, iced tea. Maybe it'd be comfortable for a few minutes, but. A mint julep. Actually, I prefer a uh, mojito bubble tea without the bubble from down the street. It's quite tasty. I don't like boba. Uh oh. So I get lychee fruits instead. Ooh, I hate those. Oh. Same the other, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I've had either one. Uh, You've never had bubble tea? Oh, I've had bubble tea, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Hi, Loki. Yeah, uh, down at Andorra's, she has, you can have uh, lychee fruit stars instead of uh, boba oh. in your beverage. I don't think I realized that. You can make bubble tea with normal fruit? Uh, not, not at Andorra's. Oh, no. no. Bubble tea is, is, is a thing. It's good. Not to be confused with kombucha. Yeah. I like kombucha. Uh, he, I like ginger kombucha. Oh, now you follow me. I'm going to go over here and do some grooming. And you're How long you, you have to wait before you can conform them to fit a book? Oh, those? Yeah. Um, by the time I get done. Uh... Really? Oh, uh, no, it's only 2.30. What are you whining about, Don? No, he, wants, he wants someone to play with the rope. Uh -huh. Mostly you. Look at it, too. That, just, that little piece of leather does not want to keep a piece of gold on it, I guess. Well, yeah, when I, when I come back this afternoon, uh, or this evening, um, they'll right. be ready to, I'll shape them. I'll probably just shape them and then bind them at that point. It'll take about 20 minutes to shape. And uh, then I'll not bind them, case them in. <coughs> is getting a little soggy. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're still working with Raven on me. No, you can't play right now. Um, but... <laughs> well, he's been patient all day. Still yeah, puppy. He's been really good. We got quite a lot done. I did play with the players, so I mean, but I don't, I'm not as strong as you are, so it's more of a challenge when you play with them. Why is the camera? Not following you, or why is it following? Oh, it's hey, windy yeah, out, man. I'm going this way. You're peeling my cat off the ceiling again tonight. It's going to be windy like that again. We're kidding. Well, yeah, I'm just glad it's not snowing. When the whole house shakes, like I'm in an oak bed that you know weighs a zillion pounds, seven hundred pounds, and it's shaking along with the house. Wow. She's uh she got a little uh concerned and I uh I don't blame her for that. <laughs> oh hey. Yeah. Got a few minutes yet. Oh, oh yeah. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're really certain the uh, Hey, I'm over here. Hey, come here. Urinate him off. Seriously? I think it looks be better. Stop looking at it. I'm sorry. 
Okay, I did there not do it goes. this. I did not do this. What? The front of this book has got some like little texture of it. I did not do that. Because I have not laid it down on that side, nor have I rubbed anything against that. It's supposed to be a bit of gold on the back side either. Oh, that I did do, and I will take it off. It came from my candy. <laughs> Look. I'll take it on the back side. Yeah. Um, Hopefully that will figure something help out. out. I so, I want to say thank you. Uh, one of our patrons, um, well, actually, he wasn't a patron at the time. He saw my post on Facebook and um, will remain unnamed, though I now know who it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this book is like a textbook. It was 250 or $260, something like that. And uh, it, it it's an incredible piece of work. So it was written by 70 uh, conservators, uh, well-recognized conservators, and it was edited by a bevy of people also. Um, and so this was a book that we wanted to get for the, the Binder Studio for our little library. And uh, it's one that we eventually probably would have got later on this year, but it would have taken months and months to put that kind of disposable cash away. So uh, from me, thank you. Uh, from the apprentices who will be working with me out of this, thank, thank you. you. Uh, we're definitely going to do some Patreon videos and posts uh, from information that we got out of this, let you know what we've been learning. Um, there's another book uh, called The Archaeology of the Book or Archaeology of Bookbinding or, or something like that that we want to get that will go with this. Um, understanding the history of the books and the way they were made and how they were made uh, really helps you be able to work on them. So thank you. Once again, I can't, I really, 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 really appreciate it. You going to follow me back this time? Maybe. Good luck, dude. All right, what time is it? So we got about 15, a little over 15 more minutes left of this. <laughs> Whatever this is. A bunch of us rambling. <laughs> Six people. Really yeah. Really well, no, this is not public. Yeah. Uh, anyone can watch it without so them. Anyone can watch it, but our, uh, our six patrons on Patreon are awesome. Anyway, uh, here is your look you may be able to get enough pressure to burnish it a little bit uh, but it did my best i'm sure and i put the fine. gold off the back for you okay. i think i need a bigger brush is there a water jar yeah. oh. I don't know why, but this is the only one that got filled with water yeah. how many water jars do you think you need I'm doing the same thing that I've been doing. I just wanted a bigger brush for it. I am actually going to put this cute this uh, back in the box, the uh, toothpick, because yeah. um, quite useful with a cotton ball. Cool. Uh, oh God. I tell I was sitting on this chair too long today. Oh no. Oh god, ow. <laughs> um, do you want me to put the cat hairs right in the globe leafing box of doom here? Um, yeah, because I can't imagine what else we'd use them for. Yeah. There is that. There is the cat hairs. Yeah, I actually got a set of like like nice wooden needle holders like little tubes with a screw on brass caps uh -huh. uh, so i took all of the needles and put them in one and the other one i put my my cat hairs in that i have at home my cat whiskers nice so, 
they'll go in my my gold weeping box when I have a gold weeping box. Okay, I am going to remove the whiskers from the backs of these brushes now. I think I'm done here. That. Um, unless you want to take off those two first. Okay. I was. I, I don't know how bad they are or if they need touched up at all. Um, uh, let's let's look at them and see if I can ruin those two. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the best that I can with the skills I've been taught. Oh, so that was my fault. I mean, you are my teacher. Yeah. I wouldn't go so far as to outright say it's your fault. <laughs> but you might have it strongly. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say I am a product of my teaching. Kind of. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could, it could be too much. But we're going to do that too. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Well, I think that we're going to need to read. Clean it out. Clean it out. No, it's just, I think those just need cleaned up. I don't even think they need burnished because the. Uh, it's nice. Yeah. Nice and bright already. Yes. Uh, May need a little bit of NASA. Well, I thought that in the beginning too, but it's it's coming up with the. Uh, uh, so all the edges they, are sharp. Yeah, they look nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm looking at them. Looking at them under the the thing. Yeah, they look really good. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah, everything that was there is coming up with. And it's literally just like a couple of places in between, like the T and the H here, the little where they come really close to each other. Yeah. I mean, yeah, look. It's like picking some up. Nice. <laughs> So these last few cases, the uh, the peaks on the vellum have been looking pretty decent. They haven't been too high. Oh, good. Uh, here. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, transitions have been nice. I've been quite I know, it's, it's not an easy. None of this is an easy process. No. Yeah. Yeah, that Nice and glowy. This one was good. I think you can only use it That thing goes up higher. What's that? That one goes up higher. I know. I'm just. What goes up higher? The press. I feel uh, everybody knows we have another press coming? Yes. I'm looking forward to it. Did I tell Marcia? Yeah, you told me. Okay. I couldn't remember if I did or not. Although I think we may need some, love, some more of these rails. Some more what? Rails. The plastic things that put the like, grooves in the uh, Well, there's two people working over there. Well, I do well. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think these are fine. There's literally a little spot in the line here that I could, you know, feasibly put a drop of gold on. That's about it. So I will do that. And then it will be ready to come. There you go. Yay. We're set of books in the books. Yeah, I don't know that this, this, like, like I said, I burnished it. I went over it and it doesn't look like as shiny as I would like it to at all. So I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, it looks like it's still. I can go over it again with another layer. You mind? No, I don't mind. Um, yeah, because I don't know what else to do with it. I can't strike it again. No, no. Um, Tape. Yeah. Dude, I wanted like I've I've never wanted to filter some water so bad just to get the little bit of particles of gold at the bottom of the stuff. <laughs> I know that feeling. Ooh, might need that light. So does gum arabic come in a powder form? Is uh, that what I what am I understanding? Or uh, is it you can get it in a in a liquid form, I believe. Yeah. All right. And you just add it literally with the gold leaf, you add like a drop of it at a time and you do this for like an hour. <laughs> like and it, it breaks breaks the gold leaf up into really fine particles. And if you do it for long enough, you you will have the best gold shell gold you've ever had in your life. Basically. It also comes in powder form. Well, I'll have to check and see. A crystal form. Not really pick it up. What I have is corn. What quality? Uh, you can get gold leaf. I have. There's gold leaf in there. Yes. I don't know what. To... But I, I don't know what grade it is or what quality carrot or you know however they. It's usually twenty four or twenty four. If it's true gold. Yes. yes. If it's not true gold, you have actual true gold in there, though, right? I believe so. Like I said, tooling is something that I've shied away from simply because I've never had really good luck with it. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously, it's something that we need to explore mm -hmm. more. Yes, that we seem to be needing to add to the repertoire. Good food, we're down to the last two. Well, I've done some on leather, not like a lot, some more. On paper with the gold leaf, and of course, I've been pulling my leather. Uh, okay, that's better. That, that little light on this magnifying glass is cute. It wants to be a real light when it goes on.
keep getting these tingy headaches. Mm. The weather? I, yeah, I'm guessing, yeah. Somebody out there. Oh, speaking of someone being out there. There was a lady mopping the stairs and cleaning uh, the other day. Mm, and I don't know if she just did the stairs in PACA or if she did the whole building or you know what extent she, her cleaning. Oh, floors. like if she only went up to the theater yeah. level. But uh I tried. I was. I tried to ask her a question, but she had headphones in. It wasn't. She was ignoring me. So she, <laughs> she didn't want disturbed. She wanted so to focus on her time. I re I respected that and left her alone. I wonder if she was just, you know, it would be nice if we had an actual cleaning lady for the building on that. Right. Yeah. Cleaning person. So as we're winding down, I'm going to ask, there's something that you want to see, and I know we got some tool, tool videos coming up and the cloth video, but if there's something that you want to see uh, us cover, put it in the comments down below, and we will put it in queue. If not, you're going to get served up whatever happens to be going on at any given time. Which is fine too. There's a lot going on here. But I'm more than happy to accommodate what we can. People's curiosity is not. Yeah. Or if you have questions about anything you see us doing, like why in the hell are you doing that? <laughs> I'll tell you. And uh, I like the thing that Mark Cockrum says on just about every single one of his posts that there are other binders doing other things. More of a way to skin a cat. And uh, you know, a lot of what I'm doing here was self-taught. Um, I did study under a master for a while. And uh, so I did learn things from him. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's just different ways of doing things, different techniques, different styles. I am continuously learning. And you know, the teacher can, yeah, the teacher can be taught. So. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a dirty look? No, I shouldn't say. <laughs> well. Sometimes the teacher can't be taught, and so the other, the, 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 it has to do with them. Down. And, and we're out. And Loki gets the final word. That's Loki. Yeah, we're, I don't think we're on anymore. I don't know that it auto shuts off. Oh, okay. I have to wander on over here. Over here. To the pooter. To the pooter tank. And click on that and say bye 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 bye. <laughs> We're going to start putting Loki warning.